Kia ora bros and girls, welcome back to the channel. We're on day three, Trial of Earth. Uh, and this one's all about um, critical rates and increased damage and all that sort of shenanigans. So we're going to get back to our uh, OG team here. Um, maybe Nebula for the Synergy. Uh, or Green Goblin. Nebula. Yeah, maybe. Wait a minute, hang on. We're still doing the four star experiment, eh? So actually, I probably should um, switch him out. Maybe for Starkey or. You know, I think Void. Yeah, I think Void did a lot. It'll be quite handy. Because he can do that heap, heap of damage over time. Um, or Scarlet Witch. Mm. I'm trying to figure out should I bring a 5 star R3 should I bring Voodoo should I bring Scarlet Witch no, I'll keep Iceman because he's immune uh, okay so we have a 4 star we have a max 5 star and we have the rest are just ranked 4 or 5 stars 3 three guys here um, don't look too bad to start with 200 attack health on the nodes aggression fury um critical damage increase critical rate increase they've got that glancing uh, annoying thing and dismay dismay is going to be the most annoying node here um but the rest don't seem too bad and these um, apart from uh abomination is poison but we have an immune for that uh we have iceman so you you probably should bring an immune to this uh to this level but we're going to try to take void with uh, a maxed out vo um take Luke Cage with a maxed out void sorry it's been a long night and I'm very very tired so uh, if I sound out of it that's probably why um, but we're gonna try to have a better run than yesterday we're gonna try to focus here and um, the opponents are not too bad Luke Cage and War Machine are pretty f fairly straightforward to fight and Abomination apart from the poison um, should be fairly straightforward to fight too so Let's see if we can just get into a good rhythm and, and stack those debuffs. So one thing here is you will need to play fairly aggressively um, or smartly because you need to keep those fury uh, those fury timers down. Um, basically every couple of seconds or so he gains a fury buff and that, that continues going up. And if you are going to parry when he's got maybe four or five, you're going to take a heck of a lot of damage. So you kind of want to parry early. You want to get in there and you want to keep that count down. You want to keep it maybe uh, under two or three. Um, of course, you have to bait out the SP1s and you have to bait out the SP2s and all that. Uh, but you want to make sure that you keep it down. When As soon as it starts growing, um, over five or so, uh, their hits are going to really hurt. So... If that's the case, you start want you want to you want to then start dancing away or letting them throw the SPs and get in there and hit them. Every time you hit them, every hit reduces. Damn, I got clipped there. Every hit reduces the fury count by one, right? So you just want to keep them at bay. Otherwise, you're gonna start hitting really hard, really really soon because they'll have fury, they'll have the increased crit rate, um, and they have the increased crit damage. But that's okay, we're going to take uh, CG in here and hopefully try to take care of him. I forget that he goes undestructible and we get clipped again. Not a great start, but I'm, I'm quite happy today with the fact that we could take in a maxed 5 star um, and actually be able to get through this or through a fair chunk. Um, without too much effort, you know. If I played a bit better, I probably could one shot him with Void. Um, and if you have like a, if you have like a Blade or um, an Ice Man or you know anyone who can do a fair bit of damage over time, um, then you you could you know you could do it uh, as well with a five star Scarlet Witch would have worked uh, just as well. Angela would have worked just as well. Um, 
so it's nice because the last couple of the last couple of trials in day one and day two it was hard even with even with a five uh, with a max stat four star um there were a couple of nodes that would really disrupt your flow but today it's not so much about disrupting flow. You're going to have your flow. You just have to be a little bit careful to not let them uh, hit you too much and not let that fury counter go. And um, the other, the other real, uh, the other real pointer here that uh, we were struggling with, and this is what's bleeding CG out at the moment, is that dismay node. Um, now this may is one of those nodes where like if if it's all good it's all good if you keep your combo you don't even know about it you don't even know it's there but once it goes bad once you get clipped it can go bad it can go all bad it can go very bad because um, you basically degenerate based on your highest combo um, and you degen basically kind of continuously so and nobody nobody in the game is immune to degen so it's a really annoying node so so long as you can keep your combo up. Um, there should be no problem. We're gonna try the four star here, Proxima. Um, four star rank four, so she's not maxed out. Uh, and just see how we go. So far, we're not doing so bad. We just need to be able to kind of evade his um, his SP. But yeah, a couple of hits there, and and you're done. So I I, I wouldn't recommend you come in here with four star rank fours if your roster is mainly made of rank fours with a few rank fives. Maybe try the level below epic. Maybe try the master. You're still going to get some fairly decent rewards um, and be able to grow that roster a little bit. But I think to get into epic, you really need at a minimum max five stars with great skill. Sorry, max four stars, like rank five four stars with great skill or, um, or high level five stars. And a bit of concentration. You need to not be talking uh, trash around the video and you need to concentrate on what you're doing. But we're going to try to come in here, probably heal up the Corvus uh, and take out War Machine. War Machine's not too... He's not too difficult if you push him to his SP2. I think I find his SP2 easier to evade than the SP1. The SP1's a bit like... You kind of just have to block it. Um, whereas... The SP2 is a bit of, it's got a bit more of a slow timing and you can kind of dash away from it. It's a little bit like Howard the Duck's uh, SP1. So we didn't really get a good run for Corvus here. And I still like to use Corvus because um, I still like his ability for true strike. And I do like his burst damage. Um, but he's not as incredible in this quest as he is in longer quests. Maybe on day seven he'd be, um, he'd be a bit better, because he relies a lot on building up those persistent charges, and you build that up through meeting the right kind of opponent uh, and completing the right kind of missions. And seeing as these um, daily trials are only three champs, you never really ramp up. You never really get to a persistent charge. You'd be lucky to get one or two. Um, but I still bring him in anyway because he still can hit fairly hard, fairly quickly. Um, so yeah, unfortunately now we've got Iceman, which has a class disadvantage against War Machine. Um, but if we can play a little bit smart here, we should just be able to to take care of business. So the cold snap's doing a lot of damage um, as well while we wait and while we take that fury down. Um, I was hoping to kind of finish him off actually before he SP3'd, but this should be okay so long as we can kill him quite quickly so that we don't take a lot of degen damage. As you can see, it's like 215 to take there and we, we didn't have too high of a combo. Um, so yeah, if if you play really well and you can just maintain your combo, evade the SPs, never get hit, then uh, this today is going to be quite easy. If you have uh, really hard hitters, today is going to be quite easy. If you have decent regenerators like a high level blade um, or a life stealer like Omega or um, or Wolverine, you probably be pretty good with this as well. I would. 
highly recommend you bring someone immune though, like an Ultron or Iceman or Nebula um, or Vision uh, because if you run into uh, a poison like Abomination, along with the Degen and along with the Fury, um, even a five star rank four isn't gonna last very long. So you'll definitely need an immune for today. But yeah, I mean, this trial seems to be much easier than the last couple of days. Um, and I think it can, unlike the last couple of days where I was like, you will really struggle if you bring four stars in here, but it can be done, but it'll be costly. I, I think you can get away with, with running four stars in this one. So long as you concentrate, you play well, don't lose your combo uh, and make sure you keep that fury down. Damn, I thought I evaded that, but somehow I got hit. Okay, never mind. We can uh, just revive up and hopefully try to finish him off. So yeah, I'm a little bit happier about today and I'm, I'm a little bit happier that um, Kabam have not put in uh, I thought they were going to put a node in every day that would kind of mess up with your rhythm or flow. And I guess the closest thing to that here is that this may node, uh, that degens if you lose a combo, which means you have to keep a combo. But the good thing about this, this one is that you're not really forced to... Um, you're not really forced to get your flow disrupted. I'm, I'm going to kind of going to go here so I have to kind of go for it um yeah we're, oops. we're gonna need to w do one more revive um yeah you don't have to get your flow disrupted like with masochism your flow was constantly disrupted because you would miss a parry or you would miss a poison or you would miss uh something you'd miss a debuff that you wanted to get on them with the unstoppable right in the middle of a combo or or um or a special or a heavy or something you would both go unstoppable and even if you were doing the right thing all of a sudden he throws something while you're throwing something and you take a lot more damage right um, but today you can kind of just work around that and just don't lose the combo evade well don't lose the combo keep the fury to a minimum and uh and yeah it becomes a much easier doable uh day so we'll just evade that one and here we go nice and done a lot easier than the last couple of days i hope you guys find it a bit easier as well if if you did if you do like uh, if you did watch this and it helped you out do like the video subscribe leave a comment um you know help support the channel and and we'll be back again tomorrow with um with day four we got our 500 shards, we get our um, Essence of Earth there, which is going to be very handy on day 7. And we get our raw elements, which is going to be great um, to get the crystals later on. Um, but yeah, we'll be back tomorrow with day 4 trial of whatever element it is. Kakiteano.